Hey there everybody, this is 22Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Don't Think Twice. Don't Think Twice stars Keegan-Michael Key and the film tells the story of this improv group who also happen to be best friends. They put up an improv show for everyone to watch them, but then Keegan-Michael Key actually gets a very huge break and because of that, the group starts to realize that they can't be an improv group forever. So when I heard about Don't Think Twice, I just randomly saw a poster for this film during the summer. It was with Keegan Michael Key and the rest of the group. You know, basically the poster you see here in this review right now. And I looked more into it, not just because Keegan Michael Key is in it, because obviously I'm a huge fan of Key and Peel, but I thought the concept of us looking at the life of these comedians, these people that love to do comedy, that do improv, it sounded very interesting. And after checking out Don't Think Twice, I... I uh, I appreciate this film, but I unfortunately I can't say it quite grabbed me like it did for a lot of people out there. I do appreciate this concept. This is a very interesting concept, and in some scenes of this film, I thought it was explored very well, but unfortunately, I found this film to be kind of boring. Just some scenes where the characters are talking weren't really intriguing me. I wasn't finding myself all that engaged. In some moments of this film, yes, I was interested when they're talking about improv and comedy and all that but then there's other times where it would just get tiring for me and I would honestly want the film to cut more to Keegan-Michael Key and Gillian Jacobs if that's how you pronounce her name because I thought that was the most interesting storyline that is the plot line I found myself caring for the most but when it would cut to other characters storylines I wasn't really caring all that much like there's a plot line where these two characters are falling asleep with each other and I didn't find myself caring for that one. There's another one where a character's father is at the hospital and that was an interesting plot line at first but then that eventually gets scrapped away. I do really like the group as a whole though like I did definitely buy the fact that these are best friends that these people do care for each other and that these are people that want to try to make it somewhere in life they want to be successful in life and in terms of that aspect yes that was sometimes interesting it just wasn't quite as interesting as as I thought it was gonna be and the film also has some very choppy editing the way this film would be cutting the other storylines did feel choppy to me sometimes and I have to say I know this is an independent comedy but I didn't really like the cinematography that much I thought it had some very poor lighting and I have seen some films with a small budget that have had some very great cinematography I'm not asking for it to be like this glossy cinematography or anything but I did wish that cinematography wise the film just looked better or just had some more decent lighting to it. I also do have to say that the film does have some very good direction to it. I thought it was actually a very well directed film. Some of the comedy I thought was pretty good in this film. Not a lot of it hit for me unfortunately but there was some very good comedy. There's even one actor that actually makes a cameo in this film. I'm not gonna really spoil what that certain cameo is but it was very cool to see this certain actor actually make a little cameo appearance here and don't think twice that was actually pretty funny right there I will say that I did like the music I thought the music did flow nicely with the film and I did really like the last 15 minutes of the movie where the film went with its final act I have to say I was very very impressed by and what I saw in the last 15 to 20 minutes of this film, I honestly wish I got for the rest of Don't Think Twice because yes, I wasn't totally bored. There were just certain moments where I was just pretty bored watching it and other moments were interesting, mainly with Higa Michael King, and Jacobs, but I just wish that the film explored more into the character's plot line because even though I could see where the movie was trying 
to go with the other character storylines. I just never really felt like there was enough meat in those character storylines for me to really care. Like, I still cared about the other characters. It's just that the storylines that we're following, other than Keegan Michael Key and Jillian Jacobs, I just never found myself all that invested. And where their storylines eventually end, while it is nice to know, it just felt rushed and very abrupt to me. But it is a film that I am glad I checked out. It is a film I wish was better though, but I am glad I got to check this film out because I definitely did appreciate it. I appreciate this film more than I did like it, to be honest. It's not a film I could see myself watching again, but I do think the cast did a really great job. I thought everyone here was very believable with their performances. I did really buy them as these best friends that care for each other. It was interesting to see a storyline that follows these people in an improv group called The Commune, if I'm not mistaken. So that that was cool in terms of that, but don't think twice. I am gonna have to give it two and a half out of four stars. I can't really go higher than that. Definitely, it's a film I would recommend if you're really into stand-up comedy, if you're someone that wants to get into stand-up comedy, or you just have an appreciation for stand-up comedy, I would recommend this film. I definitely say give it a watch. It's a film you should check out at least once. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about the movie Don't Think Twice. This is 20 to Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!